And in that moment, I realized that these two individuals already understood something very significant about love. So with that yes that you said, you basically said to one another, love never ends. Our love for one another will never end. And that yes it's, is not a, like today it's yes, yes. It is a perpetual yes. It's a never ending yes. Because the nature of love is that it never ends. Jack and Paige, you are both image bearers of God and you reflect God to one another. And as you join together, not only do you reflect more fully the character and nature of God to one another, but you also reflect to the world this beautiful mystery that is the Bride of Christ joining herself to Him in a covenant relationship. Hey, but all I've ever wanted You say you'll take me just the way I am But out the welcome mat And I'll walk through Yeah, light the candles and we'll start again I'm gonna count to ten And come find you Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never ends. Can you tell by the way I'm looking at you This is real This is how I feel I'm falling into you Like an acrophobiac skydiving I jumped out and I left my parachute So I would like to encourage you today, Jack Page, as you start your journey, that get to know God. Get to know Him. Desire Him. Desire Him more than you desire each other. And you will see that this, that foundation, it's a strong foundation to build your, your marriage on. All right, Jack, do you take Paige to be your wedded wife? And do you promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving and faithful husband from this day forward 
for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as you both shall live. I do. All right. Everybody heard him say I do? <laughs> All right. <laughs> and now, Paige, do you take Jack to be your wedded husband and do you promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be his loving and faithful wife from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish as long as you both shall live. I do. As an ordained minister of the gospel of Christ, I do now pronounce you husband and wife. Jack, you may kiss your bride. Mr. and Mrs. Jack and Paige Cooper. I've been friends with Jack since I can remember. In that time, me and him have done a lot of stupid stuff together. <laughs> Enough stupid things to know that what he's doing right now isn't stupid. For my best friend, Jack, love you, bro. Congrats, you guys. Jack, thank you so much for loving my Pagey Poo and making her feel like the beautiful princess she is. I'm so grateful to have you part of the family. Paige, I love you more than anything, and I'm so, so happy for you, and I can't wait to watch the rest of your life unfold with your groom. Thank you for allowing me to be by your side on your special day. Let's all cheers to the beautiful bride and groom for many, many years of happiness and unconditional love. Paige um, and Jack, both of you have uh, chosen professions that require you to take care of other people. But at the end of the day, the most important thing you can do, take care of each other. Paige has been the light of my life for 24 years. <clears throat> and today I hand her over to Jack. I know you will love and cherish her every bit as much as I did. Here's to the happy couple. I love you both. Oh. Mm -hmm. 